Friends, I am so excited because the time has come for me to introduce you to my son, Oscar. That's for you, Oscar. Thank you. The second generation in the cooking Bonaccinis. And the love and passion for food and cooking runs really deep in our family. But there's nothing more warming to my heart than at Christmas time getting together with my son, Oscar, and cook for family. Right, Oscar? That's right. Except for eating, that's the best part. I've got to give him that. <laughs> that is really true. And Oscar and I are going to be preparing a real Bonaccini favorite, pear and ginger tart. And that tart starts off with an all-star crust that I'm famous for because it's quick, easy, and really tasty. A little flour and sugar. And the sugar adds a little sweetness, but also adds a little crispness to that crust. Ground almonds for almond flavor and a little texture. Now, Oscar, my son's working on the filling. How's that coming along? It's coming along well. I have the pears all finished up. I have the butter melting in the pan. Could I ask you to get me an egg? Absolutely. Now, a little butter for that rich buttery flavor. And it adds a little flake to the pastry. Thank you, Oscar. Working the butter in with your fingertips helps make sure that the butter doesn't get too warm, which is quite important. My butter is now melted. It's just starting to sizzle. I'm ready to add my pears now. Now that my pears are starting to soften, I'm ready to start adding some more ingredients to start building the layers of flavor for this tart. Light sprinkling of sugar, not too much. I just want to elevate the sweetness of the pears. Cinnamon is right at home in Christmas time. I think it's a flavor that people will never get tired of. It's going to add a lovely warmth to the dish. Start building those Christmassy flavors. There aren't many spices out there that you can get as easily as ginger in its fresh state, and that'll add a beautiful hint of spice, vibrancy, and freshness to this tart. And don't be afraid to add a lot, because when you cook with fresh ginger, the heat is gonna tone down the spiciness and flavor of the ginger. Make sure it all goes in there. Whatever you're doing there, Oscar, it is smelling good. Thank you. They look gorgeous. I have to say, the pear doesn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. I'm just gonna add a splash of water just to get the juices flowing. And now all that's left to do is let these cook out so they're nice and soft. How's the crust coming along? It's coming along nicely, thanks for asking. Good. I'm just about done here, adding the liquids, which is nothing more than egg and a good drop of almond extract for that extra added punch of almond flavor. And then simply work the wet liquids into the dry ingredients. Now to bring the dough finally all together, a light dusting of flour, just tip it out on the board and work it together with your hands. Short working just brings it together so beautifully. But I can't roll this out right away because it's a fresh made pastry. So I need to wrap this and let it get a little R&R &R in the fridge before I can roll. But I have one prepared all ready to go. Now my dough that's relaxed is ready to roll out. And that's easily done with a light little flour and a gentle rolling. Oscar, how's that filling coming along? These pears are coming along beautifully. I don't want to lose any of these juices that have collected in the pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a slurry, a little bit of cornstarch and water. The reason I mix it with water before is that there's absolutely no lumps in the finished tart. All that's left to do is let the cornstarch and water cook out and you'll see it tighten up right away. The smell is fantastic. Get a hint of the cinnamon, that fresh ginger, and the sweetness of the pears really come through beautifully. This is the greatest gift to any home cook and chefs. A pan for cooking tarts where the bottom comes out, guaranteed every time to get that tart shell out. Just slide the pastry over the top Working that dough into those corners gently does it. 
Now to trim the excess pastry off the top. Quick and easy, just watch. How easy was that? How is that filling coming along, Oscar? It's just about ready to be blitzed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the food processor. And we're looking for a bit of texture, right? Exactly. Excellent. Smells really good. Come on, you gotta scrape all those bits out. You can't waste any. That's our golden rule. It is. It's our golden rule. No more than that, I think. How's that look to you? Oh, that smells even better now. It looks great. Excellent. So whilst the filling is cooling, that gives me a chance to prick the bottom of my pie dough before I give it a quick blind bake. 